It's an Eichel Burger here, Prep Cal Track. I am with the victorious gentleman of Great Oak. Uh, gentlemen, we're going to have you introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Nick Gaffney. I'm Jeffrey Keeney. I'm Austin Elkins. Gabriel Rodriguez. Ramses Cortez. Uh, Nathan Leonard Diaz. Mark Cortez. Well, first and foremost, gentlemen, congratulations. Uh, a program that has had so much experience with success back on top of the mountain here. Uh, Obviously, the road this year may have been a little bit different than previous years. Uh, if you could, just talk a little bit about the journey to get here to this moment and, and to be able to validate what you've done with a CIF state championship. Um, well, we got humbled early at Woodbridge and then Clovis. And then we learned a lot, and then we really came together as a group. And then we pulled it together at the first day. And we worked, we worked really hard all season. And then it's good to see it all throughout this day. And we just want to give lots of... Well, to our hats to see from many, they kept us in our toes all season. We had to come together and put the, uh, show the best in us and put all the work in in order to beat them. So we're just really thankful to give such a great race and such a great season to work on. You talked about the challenge of San Clemente. They came in with obviously a, a great team and still have a great team and a lot of notoriety and things of that nature. Obviously, you can look at that as two ways. One, maybe people don't think we're as good as they are, or two, we can use that as motivation to perform at a higher level. You guys obviously went to the second part of that. Just talk a little bit about what it was like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team that had been performing so great, and what did that show about what you guys have in your ability? Yeah, obviously they're a great team, but I think we believe in ourselves as well. I think we had the right, the right mindset of it's not over. Um, we had a game plan stuck to it, and with that, I think the results showed um, our mental focus and our preparation throughout the season. Uh, it's, it's such an honor to be able to compete with a team like that, and we're just so happy that it can win our way today. Uh, another day it could have not happened, but today um, the race plan stood out and it was out well. You talked about race plan. What was the plan for you guys to come out today? What did you have to do, and where did you have to do it in order to hold that state championship trophy? So our plan was to kind of settle into the first mile and be sure to keep it into the second mile. Staying together was really a big part of our plan. We've been talking about all week and just running together as a team instead of going out too hard and trying to do it ourselves. So we really came together. You know, we're, we're the Wolf Pack, so I mean that's what all the other teams have done in the past. You know, we run together as a pack, and we just knew we had to keep all into the second mile to the top of the hill, and from there just let it rip and bring it to the finish line. So that was just our plan the whole time. Final question, you guys, again, have overcome so much this year, whether it be injury, illness, whatever the case may be. To now step onto this stage and perform the way you did and to have a state championship to back up what you did here today, how special is that for you? Um, I mean, it really means the world to us. I mean, we've been working hard all year, and this is our this is our like big goal to win a state and then go on to X and to see it really come together. It's, it's really good for us. Gentlemen, you have not done yet. Obviously, a lot of great things in, in front of you and ahead of you as well. Congratulations to the Great Oak Wolf Pack, the 2022 CIF Division I state champions, bringing home more hardware to one of the top programs in the United States. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.